Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumen channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Gerson 3230 Plus. These masks were also requested by you guys, so thank you guys once again for requesting and giving us your feedback. We purchased these from Project N95. As I mentioned, these are the Gerson Surgical 3230 Plus made in the US. They come in a box of 50 for $41.50. It's also a one size fits most. It has a 4 out of 5 rating with several reviews. Now let's go ahead and take a look at these respirators. So these don't have the best construction quality. They are a little flimsy. I was a little thrown off because it looks like it only has one strap, but you can see that it has a little slight line here that you can just pull them apart. I'm not really a big fan of these straps just because I know that if they do snap, it is going to hurt. They're not fully rubber, but just not quite a fan. I didn't pull that hard on them, and as you guys can see, they're already starting to snap. So I'm going to go ahead and take out another one before those snap on me when I put them on. So I don't know if you're supposed to separate the straps beforehand or after. I think maybe after you put it on. Oh, I can hear those... I can hear those straps. I'm going to no adjust the nose wire, but one thing I'm going to point out is that although the nose wire seems very sturdy, it is poking in a little bit. I am actually getting a really good seal with these. I don't feel any leakage at all, but I am getting quite a bit of collapse. With that being said, let's go ahead and see how these test on our TSI machine. We're going to be testing both the filtration efficiency and the pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the respirator is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample the first sample tested at 99.47% with a pressure drop of 7.6 millimeters of water. The second sample had a filtration percentage of 99.34 and had a pressure drop of 7.4 millimeters of water. The last sample's filtration percentage was 99.31 and had a pressure drop of 7.9 millimeters of water. So we're back now and looking at these test results, they actually tested very well in terms of filtration efficiency and pressure drop. They are quite breathable, so I'm not really sure where the collapse was coming from. When it comes to the construction quality, they weren't the best. We've definitely tested better. As I said, the nose wire was, wasn't that comfortable and the straps, they were starting to crack a little bit so it did scare me whenever i was putting them on as i mentioned in terms of breathability and filtration you can't really go wrong with these they are well within the n95 standard i really hope that you guys found this video helpful please let me know what mask we should test next or just any other content that you would like to see in our channel in the comment section below we also have a lot of important information in our description box like our website which is acumen.com and our master testing data sheet please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in our next video.